Hi, this is Beth with a little bit of Beth. Just a little helpful hint that may change your perspective, give you a new idea, help you think about different ways to show up and impact yourself and others. I'm going to tell you a story. A long time ago, uh, when my daughters were pretty little, I went to a retreat. And there was a woman there who, as part of the retreat, she was sharing a really tough story about her life and ha what helped her get to where she is right now. And as she was telling the story, the tears just started coming. Um, just a lot of crying. And I reached over very innocently and got a box of tissue and handed a tissue to her. And she said in no uncertain terms, Beth, it's taken me a long time to be able to shed these tears. I've earned these tears and please don't ever try to do something to make me stop them. Just let them go. Just let them go. These are my tears. I realized, um, wow, that was such important and insightful information. Because up until then, I made an assumption that when someone cried, it was my job to stop those tears. And the reality is, it's not. It's not my job. Now, if there's a box of tissue in your office or on your table and someone can access it, if they choose, you're empowering them in that way. But when you step in and hand them a tissue, you're making an assumption that they should not be crying. And as I tell people in my Navigating Challenging Dialogue workshop all the time, when we talk about how to deal with different reactions that people have, crying, anger, defensiveness, um, blaming, denying, lying, one of the big ones that triggers people is when somebody cries when they get feedback. And so what I tell people is, just like I would not say to someone, ooh, your hair's growing, stop, ooh, ooh let's get that to stop. I no longer say, ooh, here's a tissue for your tears. I allow them, if they choose to, to access it. But I now view tears just as something that happens, like your hair grows, your foot shakes, you tap your fingers, whatever it is. So take the power out of the tears and, and let go of the assumption that you need to fix that. Let go of the judgment that it's good or bad, because it's neither. It's just something that happens. And while you can have a tissue there for somebody who wants to access it, don't make the assumption that it's your job to get them to stop crying. It's not. All right. There you go. That's my little bit of Beth for today. Hope it's helpful. Looking forward to talking soon.